I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. What's going on? Good morning and welcome to another episode of Graybo's Giblets MLB All-Star Weekend Edition. We are here to break down everything that is happening in the next few days in the baseball world and to see what cards we should be buying with another half of the season to go. I am your host, Graybo. I'm joined with our favorite producer, Ryan Fitz. Fitz, how are we doing this morning? We're doing great, Graybo. Thanks for having me. All right, always a pleasure. And then Denny, one time, who's a little bit under the weather, but he has made it out to give us his picks on the All Star Weekend and what cards we should be buying up. Denny, one time, how we feeling? Uh, I've been uh, sweating and chilling in cold chills for the last eleven hours, but uh, nothing could stop me from crawling down the steps and talking Major League Baseball All Star Weekend with my pals. And that's why he's the best, and that's why he gives it his all. He gives it 100% even when he's sick. That's why we love him. Uh, We're going to be breaking down uh, the MLB Futures game, which is uh, this Saturday. Um, Some of the baseball's greats have come through and played in this game. So this is a great head start for people that are in the card industry to see what players they should be buying for the future. Uh, We're going to be talking about the Home Run Derby on Monday night and the All-Star game Tuesday night. Um, So let's start with the Futures game on Saturday. Um, We're going to break down which prospects we should be buying. And I'm just going to start with uh, Fitz. Uh, Fitz, who are you buying from this game uh, on Saturday? Future stars. I'm going to give you a pitcher, and I'm going to give you a hitter. Uh, The pitcher is Carson Wisenhunt, who is our uh, beloved local Richmond Flying Squirrels loan representative in this game. Um, Our good friend and play-by-play announcer Trey Wilson likes him, uh, so – so I do too. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him, and then uh, Brady House is gonna be my my hitter. He's got one an elite name. Uh, he was the number 11 overall pick of the Nats back in 2021. He just turned 20 last month, uh, and he's coming off a back injury uh, where he missed most of the last season. So he might be a little undervalued. Um, going into this and he just recently moved from short to third base because he's a, a beast uh six four with an absolute rocket arm so uh give me brady house i love that um six four wow he's a big boy and coming off an of injury yeah so you could probably get him uh for some good value get some of his cards and we have a lot of nats fans um, so we're definitely looking for a Brady House cards. If you have any, bring them into the store. Denny, one time, I see you have another uh, Nat as well. Um, and your future picks, who are you going with in this game that you like um, as uh, some value with the card world? I think that uh, the obvious answer would be James Wood uh, because he's very well known. Um, came over from the Padres and the Nats and the, and the uh, Soto deal and very likely to get pulled up. Uh, relatively soon uh, to the Nets, but I'm going to dig a little deeper and say my guy I'm buying is uh, Tyler Soderstrom. Um, big boy has about 20 home runs already this year for the AAA affiliate of the A's. It would not surprise me to see him at the major league level pretty soon. Let's just hope that once that happens, he gets traded to somebody other than the A's. But that's still a guy that, I'm, that I've been buying this week in anticipation of this game. I love that because the A's are just terrible. So I can see him definitely being in the majors this year. Um, and getting his name out there, so so buy him now. My guy uh, is a little more well known um, than y'all's picks, but uh, Jordan Lawler, I've been on him for a long time. Uh, the number six prospect in the top one hundred, uh, shortstop for the Arizona Diamondbacks Double A team. Uh, he was drafted number six overall in twenty twenty one, and just like uh, House, injuries uh, cut his season short last year. Um, or excuse me, two years ago, his, his 2001, uh, 2021 year. Uh, last year, though, you know, he hit 300. He has some power. He had 16 home runs, 62 ribbies. So the power is promising when healthy. And he has great speed, swiped about 40 bags last year, already up to 26 this year. Um, his defense could use some work with his accuracy, but 
unbelievable arm strength um, in range. And one thing the Diamondbacks are missing on their team is a shortstop. Uh, they are a playoff team right now. You guys probably have heard of Corbin Carroll out in left field, but in their infield, Marte at second, Christian Walker at first, and the vet Longoria at third. Uh, they're missing a shortstop, and Lawler can fit that uh, void for them. Um, so definitely love Loy Lawler. Got a lot of his cards. Hopefully he can pan out. Go get them now. And I also want to give a shout out to Fit. What Fitz was saying about uh, Carson Weisenhunt uh, from Richmond. Uh, his first appearance in Double A, Flying Squirrels. Five innings pitched, seven Ks and a win. So go watch him on Saturday. Okay, let's move on to the Derby, fellas. Let's get some futures out there. We got eight guys that will be participating. Do you guys know how they rank them? Like, you, do you guys know how Luis Robert's number one? Home runs. Very good. Very good fits. I knew you were a baseball guy. That's a giblet. Home, home runs. That is a giblet. Home runs that they have on the season. I kind of I had to look that up, actually. Uh, and so Luis Robert is the one seed against the eight seed, Adley Rushman. You got Pete Alonzo, the two seed versus the seven seed, hometown hero, Seattle. Julio Rodriguez. Mookie Betts is the three seed. It's his first year in the home run derby. First, Vlad Guerrero Jr., the sixth seed. And then Adalis Garcia, the four seed from the Rangers, versus Big Randy from the Rays at the five seed. So let's break down who are we betting fix out of those eight guys. Who are we betting? Who has good value and who has a chance to win? Yeah, I'll take the last guy, Big Randy. Randy Rosarina, plus 900 on Bet MGM. Uh, this is really a bracket play. I like his side of the bracket. All of them are uh, noobs to the uh, to the Derby, and he wouldn't have to face, you know, Alonzo or J Rod or, or Vladdy till the final. So uh, give me Randy. Great value there, too. Um, he brings a lot of energy. Um, and I like the I like the strategy. I like the strategy that's involved. You got to have some strategy here. All right, all right, Denny. One time, who are we going with? I mean, you bet everything. You bet the hot dog eating contest. I know you're betting the derby. Oh yeah, uh, big time. So I kind of like the two guys that, that the guy Fitz said and the guy you're going to say. And I'm going to try to. I'll just get different. So I like Fitz's pick because I just think a Rosarina is a showman and he's going to rise to this occasion. And he does have a softer. Uh, side of the bracket. I'm um, also like the guy you're going to say, but he's got a tough matchup um, to start. And so I'm going to take Vlad. Uh, I usually fade skinny guys in the home run derby. Mookie is skinny. So he's going against Mookie in the first round, second round, uh, softer. Uh, like I think you, I would, the people would not want to play against it is Alonso and J-Rod and they're playing they're they're banging heads first round. Yeah. Um, that's going to be a, Round. And Alonzo, honestly, is I mean, Alonzo's the favorite, but there's not enough juice on there. Plus 260 on Alonzo isn't enough. And so give me Vlad plus 350. Love it. Um, Vlad, kind of a down year in home runs, and that's where I can see him, you know, popping in the home run derby. Um, all right. So for me, uh, my favorite pick that I'm going to be rooting for is Julio Rodriguez, uh, plus 550. At home in Seattle, he wasn't even on an All Star team until uh, Mike Trout uh, got hurt. Now he is on the All Star team and probably will start in center because he's a Seattle guy. Um, and he kind of needs this to kind of. I think he kind of needs this to spark his season. Um, and the Graybo shop needs him. We are really high on Julio Rodriguez. Have a lot of Julio Rodriguez cards. We need to move. Um, so this would be great for his card value if he can win. So I think all of us are rooting for J Rod a little bit. So I'll have some money on him now. He is going up against Alonzo in the first round. If he gets through the first round, I think he can do it. That's probably going to be his hardest uh, round. Is the first round. Uh, Alonzo is coming off an injury, um, so don't know how that is going to affect him. Uh, but Alonzo is a two-time champ. So that is a little scary. But J-Rod, this is the spark he needs, fellas, to get to the second half of the season and spark the Mariners. And then my sleeper pick is Mookie. Uh, for all the reasons uh, Duke said, I mean, he's 10-1. Uh, to 1, uh, And Duke's saying he's skinny and short. Well, he has 23 bombs this year, which is the fourth best in the, in the whole league. Um, so he has some pop. Uh, I was going to shout out my Red Sox for being idiots for letting him go because he's a stud. So I'm going to have a little bit of Mookie as well at that number. All right. We got 
our All Star Game also coming up, and this segment we're just we're just looking at uh, the players and who are we going to be buying um, after at, for the second half of the season? Are they? What are we going to be doing here? So Fitz, I uh, like your pick. I'm sure uh, his cards are already skyrocketing, but I don't think they're going anywhere, and I think they're only going up. So do you want to mention who you have? as your number one all-star player we're buying. Yeah, I'm just trying not to overthink it. It's it's Shohei. Um, just day-to-day in the shop, he's by far the most requested player. Um, and it's kind of one of those things, right, like almost like the real estate market where you, you said three years ago you're just going to wait till it goes down, you're going to wait till interest rates drop, and they just keep going up, and prices keep going up, and it gets more and more competitive. So, uh, yeah, he's high right now. Um, but like you said, he, he might just keep turning upwards. So, I'm fine with Shohei even at uh, his peak. Absolutely. And, you know, he's going to get paid next year. Will he go to a World Series team like the Dodgers and have a chance? It's only going to go up, I believe, as well. All right, Duke, you got two players. Um, why don't you mention them and why? Um, I think uh, one guy, first guy, Corbin Carroll, I'm afraid it might be too late this year to buy him. Um Everybody in the card market is all over this guy. He's having a great year. Uh, but, uh, you know, Corbin Carroll, uh, fourth in the MVP odds in his league. Um, he's maybe too late. I'm, I'm, I'm looking – before I actually click that button to buy him this week, I'm still going to just kind of look at where he is compared to other folks price-wise. But I just do think that kid has a bright future. The guy I'm probably buying is Wander. Wander, uh, third in MVP voting – or MVP odds in his league. Um, he got snubbed from this team somehow. Now he's on it. Uh, how, how he got snubbed, I have no idea. Uh, but it was one of the biggest snubs ever, probably, based on performance. Um, so I think that's going to motivate him a little bit. And I think that he is a little undervalued still because um, I think he's, he's a legit you know future like star for the next 10 to 15 years. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. He probably got snubbed because of his attitude. Did you see the Rays bench them for a couple games because of the way he was handling frustration? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but definitely should be on the team. Um, you're either a wander guy or you're not. Um, I am kind of on the fence uh, with wander. I got a lot of his cards, um, so I guess I got to be a wander guy. So kind of like that pick. All right, for, for me – there are two rookies uh, starting in this All-Star game. Denny one time mentioned the first one, Corbin Carroll. Um, the other one doesn't get as much as t- attention as Carroll. Um, it's the Red Hot Rangers, third baseman Josh Jung, not his brother Jace. Uh, he's batting 270, uh, 17 bombs, 51 RBIs in his rookie campaign. And the Rangers have a great chance to make the playoffs. The Rangers actually have four starters for the American League. It's like the Rangers versus the National League. Um, do I think they're going to win the World Series? Not without DeGrom. Um, they're going to need another pitcher. But I do think they're going to make the playoffs and have a chance to make a run. But I don't think they're going to win the World Series. Um, but I like Josh. Um, I think he has a lot of power, a lot of promise, and is on a good team. So get in on uh, Josh Young, the third baseman for the Rangers. And last but not least, we got to cover a little bit of the uh, second half of the season. Boys, do we have any futures for the second half of the season? The Braves are red hot. They're the leaders in the clubhouse for the favorites to win the World Series. Are we betting a World Series winner? What are we betting, uh, Fitz? What are we betting for the second half of the season? Yeah, I'm going to go with our our hosts in Seattle, uh, the Mariners, plus 400 to make the playoffs. Uh, Only four games out of the wild card right now with the seventh easiest strength of schedule the rest of the way. Six games against Oakland, seven against Kansas City. Um, I like them to make a run. The Angels, I don't know what what they're up to now with with Trout's injury and the Shohei trade rumors probably won't get moved, but will they fall back? Well, the AL East kind of just beat up on each other. Um, I think they can sneak into that last wild card. Love it. You're a baseball guy. Look I, at I that. Baseball guy. Strength of schedule. <laughs> this man, who would have thought? Denny one time. I know who you're going with. You still have faith in these guys. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I told you when as soon as you threw out this category, I was going to just try to figure out which way I was going to bet the Padres. Um, I looked at to win the division, which is plus 2,700. 
They're nine and a half games back. I don't. That's a little too crazy. So I think I'm just going to take Padres to sneak in the playoffs, uh, plus three thirty. Um, they got so much offensive talent, and I think their pitching's good enough. So I think uh, if, these, if these guys just get going at all, I think they're going to. They do obviously have a tough division, um, very tough. But um, give me the Padres plus three thirty. <laughs> all right, Denny. Denny, one time is going to try to will the Padres into the playoffs. All right. Everyone knows the Braves are red hot. They've won nine of their last ten. They're unbelievable, uh, hitting bombs left and right. Um, but the Phillies, quietly, eight and two in their last ten, have been making noise with Harper back. So I grabbed them at 25-1 to one to win it all. Uh, I don't trust the Marlins, even though they had a great first half of the season. Um, so I'm going to take Phillies 25 to one to win it all. The Marlins to miss the playoffs. They got a lot of teams after them, like the Dodgers, Phillies, Brewers, Giants, even Denny's Padres are chasing them. So Marlins to miss the playoffs at plus 170. Uh, and then I go to the AL Central and I think the twins are going to miss the playoffs at plus 180 because I think the guardians are good enough to catch them in a the division and the AL Central is so bad that whoever wins that division, that's the only team they're going to get because the AL East is so good. Um, so those are going to be my three bets. Um, so to recap, Fitz has the Mariners plus 400 to make the playoffs. Denny one time has the Padres plus 330 to make the playoffs. I have the Phillies 25 to one to win it all. Marlins plus 170 to miss and twins plus 180 to miss. All right, fellas. Well, that's going to do it for today. Um, you guys, any last second uh, thoughts or uh, comments about this weekend? No, just uh, I don't know if anybody could hear the background noise here, so I apologize. I think our neighbors were having a, a door slamming contest, so I'm going to go and see if I can get in on that. <laughs> All right. I hope you win it. All right. I know Denny's not feeling well, so we're going to get out of here. I hope you guys take this information um and get some good cards with it thanks for riding with Graybos, and be sure you tune in next time for the next Graybos giblets uh we will be honored if you subscribed um on spotify or any other platform that we're on and give us a five-star review please email us at info at graybos.co follow us on instagram at graybos underscore cards you can come by the shop at 214 east gray street in richmond virginia go squirrels Follow us on Drip, which we are breaking five nights a week. Wrestling, baseball, basketball, football are big breaks. Thanks for riding with Gray Bucks. Jibbles. Closed eyes when I go to sleep. I don't see sheep, see dollar signs. Hundred dog, got to beat the eyes for the hundredth time at a money line. Brock Purdy was irrelevant. Now I'm at the front like a cutting line. G5 to the power five. Gray was on fire like a summertime. I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gon' get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gon' get you to the window?